Hello guys, and welcome to another uh, episode of Thoughts on Star Wars and Comics. I am trying a different setup here. A little more uh, diversity in comics, like. Uh, this way you can actually sort of see the books in front of you. Anyway, we're continuing on with the main Star Wars line, and as you can see, I've got a huge stack to go through, and I actually tried recording this a minute ago, and I went over my recording time, so we're going to try to pick this right up. So... I'm just going to start by saying issue 33, 34, 35, 36, and 37 are completely skippable. They're all standalone stories. They follow a couple different characters. This one is Luke and Leia on a planet doing some stuff with some aliens and some Imperials. There's some cool imagery in it. This one's a Santa Landa, Santa Lando team up and uh, completely skippable. It's boring as hell. This one is a Chewie Han team up where they're transporting Grack as a hut. This one actually has some kind of cool imagery in it. Uh, only because Grack is in it, even though it's terrifying nonetheless. Uh, but Grack is like a, a super ripped hut. Super ripped hut. Sorry, <laughs> slurring my words here, trying to go quick. Um, but there's some also some very strange Star Wars artwork in this as well. And that's the same with all of these books. They all have that strange Star Wars artwork that's overly realistic at times and then not at other times. Uh, I can show you a really good example in this book. Oh, there is a cool shot right at the beginning of this. This is the Scar Squadron uh, episode where uh, it talks about Sarge and his group. This one's kind of cool if you want to know more about Scar Squadron and how they operate and stuff like that. But yeah um that one might be worth a read because there's some cool long live the empire yeah cool uh, imperial imagery in there but uh and then there was another little back issue in the back of this which i actually really liked this had some really cool artwork in it it's too bad that they didn't do an entire book of this it's just a little short story with ben kenobi on tatooine and interacting with a couple of the people but anyway Moving on. Stupid R2 issue where he rescues 3PO because remember 3PO gets kidnapped by the Empire. I would say skip that one. Finally, we're into the main line. Story again. Ashes of Jedha. The Rogue One tie-in comic with Star Wars. They go to Jedha. And there's some cool stuff going on there. There's a couple characters you need to know about, I guess. There's uh, this new Imperial officer dude who... I think gets killed at the end, I can't remember. I'm not going to read ahead to figure it out. And his name is uh, Commander Kanchar, I guess. I think I'm saying that right. And this is uh, Queen Trios. And she's a character from Darth Vader. Um, the old Darth Vader series, not the one that's running in sort of like post-prequel era. It's, it's kind of weird how this works out. Anyway, she's an alright character. She sort of plays sides a lot and stuff like that, but... For the most part, she's loyal to the Empire. Anyway. You got your two tubes in there. You gotta get him in there for a crossover. Ah, these comics, this series isn't bad. This Ashes of Jedha one, it's just... Whatever. It, it, it's so skippable. Because you know what's gonna happen. Uh, there are some cool images in it. And there's some nice flashbacks to previous times. And... There's some weird stuff going on with Luke and this cult, and apparently sandworms from Dune. <sighs> and, um, and even Fremen, too. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but, uh, you know, this is all just weird force stuff they're trying to add in afterwards. But there, are, there's some nice vehicle scenery, but the, this, these friggin' faces that they have every now and then going on with this like semi-realistic art like ugh, it's so terrifying it's so weird it just doesn't seem to fit um i don't like it <laughs> that's all i can really say i just don't like it uh i just want to go back here for a second uh i think there was a really funny one in one of the earlier issues that i missed by first time i recorded i had a good laugh over it but Maybe we should just skip that, because it's not worth looking at. 
I'll, I'll, if I find it, I'll put it in the thumbnail. How about that? That's, that's the easiest thing to do, right? You know, oh, wait, hey, look at that. Beautiful. N no. Anyway. There, there's some weird artwork. So, we're almost through it. We got two more issues left. Oh, but you say, oh, there's a third book down there. Yeah, there's a third book down there. We'll get to that. We're going to skim right over that one, too. Hmm. What do I say about this? It's all right. It's a good little action story. Oh, I don't want to bend that, I guess. Or maybe I do want to bend it. I'm not sure. This is the conclusion. Princess Leia smacks the queen. That's funny. This Klingon guy, he's doing something. He, he, he looks like a Klingon. He looks just like the Klingon from Star Trek VI. He's got the bald head, the eye patch, and the head ridge. What am I supposed to say? So he's got a robot arm, so he's a little bit different. Luke beats him. The only cool thing in this issue... Uh, actually, no. No. There's some nice... Nice scenery artwork, but whatever. They escape. Didn't you know that? This happens in between Empire and uh, New Hope, so I mean, like, of course they escape. Now this book, hmm, I didn't know when I was going to be able to talk about it, so I'm just fitting it in this one. Storms of Crate, one shot, uh, Last Jedi tie-in book, followed that stupid DJ book. Or that DJ book followed this, I should say. That was a waste of time. This is just about the Rebels finding Crait. That's that's the whole story. However, it has a fight between... Good lord, where is it? There's some cool cool artwork in this one. This is, this is the Mayhew guy. He's actually pretty good. He did like that Obi-Wan comic. I like the, uh, the imagery he does, especially this scene right here where the... Uh, Sarge is on a speeder bike with a lightsaber. It looks really cool. It's very classic pre-Star Wars, uh, the Star Wars, if you will, where stormtroopers had lightsabers, and I like the fact that I gave one to one. Anyway, Luke and uh, Sarge have a fight on Crate, which is cool, and it's better than the other fight on Crate that we all know about from that incredibly crappy movie called Last Jedi. This is cool. This layout is fantastic even though this story is junk worthless this is really cool anyway on got shot oh no well, obviously he survived anyway that's the end of that book we got through it in time and i might have sound like i was disinterested but i kind of am i mean uh, this is getting into a long project now and i don't know if it's worth it or not because these books are pretty, pretty boring. There's <laughs> no other word for it. This Star Wars books shouldn't be boring. They should be interesting. Uh, there are some. We got Darth Vader to go through. There's Poe Dameron. But guys, I don't know if I want to talk about it or not because it's it's kind of boring. Like I got a stack of comics here. I've been just avoiding reading because I've been doing this series, and I'm like three months behind. Like, look at that. That's just so ridiculous. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> then, I'm, then I'm working on my own comic. Yeah, I'm working on my own comic. It's going to be like Star Wars, but it's going to be better than Star Wars. Right? At least that's what I hope, anyway. So that's all I got today. And I will see you in the next episode where we'll hopefully pick up some energy and be a little bit more interested in what's going on, but I kind of highly doubt it. I'll see you next time.